Most of the time when working in Toon Boom Studio, you can do very simple animations just by working on the timeline and using keyframes. However, there are certain times when you want to do a little more complex movement, and this is where we start using pegs. Now what a peg is, it's almost an envelope or a vehicle in which you can actually move an animation. For example, we have here a very simple animation of our boomerang rotating three times. And we did this using our rotate tool. But as you see, this is rotating in place. Now to do something a little more complex to have this boomerang fly on a path, what we're going to do is attach it to a peg. Now there are three ways of adding a peg. You can simply come down and add a new element. And you can set the type to peg. Let's go ahead and cancel this. You can also come down here and simply add a peg element by clicking this button. Now, whether you've chosen the add new element button or simply add peg button, in order for you to make the peg apparent, you would have to drag the boomerang directly onto the peg layer. And now the peg is the parent of the boomerang layer. I'm going to go ahead and undo that. Let's do Command Z, Control Z on PC. Now, the third and final way is my preferred method. And we're going to delete this peg here. Select that. While my boomerang layer is selected, I'm going to select Add Parent Peg. So it's going to change the name, and it's automatically going to parent this. And this is what we're going to go with. So what we're going to do on this particular animation is on my timeline, select this very first frame of our peg, and I'm going to insert a keyframe by pressing the letter I. And I'm going to select my Transform tool. And we'll then move the boomerang to where we'd like it to be at the beginning. And now I'm going to select frame 50, insert a keyframe by pressing I, and I'm going to now move our boomerang to the other side. Now, if you notice, we actually have these lines and they are indicating each and every frame from frame one all the way to frame 50. So because we had our animation and now we've attached that to a peg, if we play this, we now have our spinning boomerang going on a path. Now to push this further, what we're going to do is add a curve to this path here. And we'll come down and select our motion tool. And we'll go about halfway in our animation. And I'll simply click here and move this up. So we now have our animation going several different places. So by using a peg, you can control animations you've already created. So imagine if you have an airplane. An airplane can have different animations going on, the propellers, and possibly even the landing gear coming up. Now you have all these complex things being animated, but you can animate that in a place, and to make the airplane look like it's flying on a path, you'd attach that to a peg. So using pegs is a way to actually push your animations a lot further than just simply using an element on the timeline.